There is some good news that this weekend's coast to coast storm might not have a big problem interfering with what a lot of people are hoping to see. At Saturday's annular solar eclipse, millions from Oregon all the way down to Texas are going to get a pretty nice view to the moon. It's going to pass in front of the sun, covering 90% of it, leaving the circle of sunlight. It's known as the ring of fire. Actually, earlier on Fox Weather, Dave Clark with nationaleclipse.com explained a bit. This eclipse path is going to travel from north to south across the United States. It's going to start in Oregon. It's going to end in Texas. So along that eclipse path, that's where you got to be if you want to see that perfect alignment of sun and moon. That's where you have to be to see that ring of fire. If you're outside of that path, you're still going to see a partial or what's probably better called a non-annular partial solar eclipse everywhere else in the United States. But even inside that eclipse path on Saturday, technically we're still talking about a partial solar eclipse because the sun is never going to be more than 90% obscured by the moon. Dave getting technical there, and I like it, a, a non-annular partial eclipse, because technically this is a partial eclipse, but with the annular eclipse, it's that ring that you see which makes it so significant. So instead of this being the path of totality, this is the path of annularity, and it begins, as Dave mentioned, in Oregon and goes all the way down into Texas. Now, if this was a total solar eclipse and we had some clouds, it wouldn't be as big of a deal. It'd still be a bit disappointing, disappointing because with the total solar eclipse, you can actually take off that specialized eyewear and look at the sun because it's fully covered. Just the corona is, is what you're seeing emanating from behind the moon as it passes in front of the sun. But with this, clouds make a huge difference. So that cloud cover forecast is going to be something that we need to watch. And when we focus a little more into where this path goes as it begins in the Pacific, moves into Oregon, we've got 90% cloud cover during that time of annularity. So it's probably not going to be the best of places to, to watch it. Let's head farther south though, because as you get in, into the, the Intermountain West, conditions a little drier. So we might have less clouds. Four Corners region, yeah, unfortunately, it looks like we might be dealing with some clouds there, too. Keep in mind, we are setting up for an El Nino winter. Not that this is a direct correlation, but that subtropical jet sometimes brings in that Pacific moisture and you deal with clouds. And then we look at places like New Mexico, Albuquerque, one of the largest cities that's going to be in the path of annularity for this eclipse. They've also got the a balloon fiesta that's ongoing right now, too, 48%. Roswell, here's the best spot, and quickly, it's down in Texas. That's probably where you'll have the best viewing, the opportunity to see it during that time of annularity. But here on Fox Weather, just watch us. We're gonna have live coverage of the entire event. In fact, I'm heading to Albuquerque, New Mexico, along with Fox Weather correspondent Max Gordon. Fox Weather's Robert Ray is also gonna be in San Antonio, and we have a special edition of Fox Weather Weekend this Saturday from 12 to 3. We'll have our eyes on the skies with a live feed of the eclipse the whole time. I'm Amy Freeze. Welcome to Fox Weather's YouTube page. We have more great videos on the way, so make sure to subscribe to stay updated on all things weather.